This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Oh, right. T-shirt changed, done. You like my little tray? You like this? Very aesthetic, love that. One minute, guys. I'm going to die if I don't take a drink of something. Right. Okay. All right, that's disgusting. <sighs> I don't drink Diet Coke, I drink Max, but never mind. So ignore what you see. Take account of what you see, but also ignore what you see because I put lighting on for my launch video and it's malfunctioned. So occasionally this video might get a bit discoy and I apologize, but hey, just go with it, it's chaos. Also, my cat is, my cat's about to take a shit. My cat's about to take a shit. Oh, it's a wee, not so bad. We'll ignore him, shall we? So if you don't know what this is, I know this is not related to plants, but we're in my kitchen, okay? And a lot of people wait to see this. This is a very cool litter tray, okay? It's called the Litter Robot 4. Litter Robot 3, 4, I don't know. It's a litter robot and basically it's a really cool thing. Multiple cats can use it. Cat does his business, beautifully demonstrated by Teddy. No, Teddy. Oh, he can't bury things, it's really annoying. Beautifully demonstrated by Teddy. And when you finish, it waits uh, X amount of minutes, then it spins and if you use clumping litter, filters out all the poo, puts it in a drawer, spins back, leaves lovely litter. So at some point that's gonna go off. That's what that's doing. Anyway, my cats are roaming because I filmed my launch video and they were screaming, okay? They were screaming. Teddy specifically likes to scream a lot. What are you doing? Don't be doing that. Don't make me nervous. Billy is, he's not in here. At some point they might, they might arrive onto the table, which is fine. So what are we doing today in this disco haven that we have as my kitchen? Well, I thought I'd introduce you to my kitchen, sort of. They should have been filmed during the day, guys, but I lost loads of light. I basically filmed my launch video first. I did product shots, I filmed my launch video, and I lost all the light. So there you go, <laughs> what, the, what the hell is going on? So we're filming in the dark, which not a vibe. Maybe I might film in the dark more often if I can get some really sexy lighting going in the back, because this is very makeshift, very makeshift. But I want to show you some of the plants that I have in here. I can't do it all, okay? I can't, I can't pick everything up. I don't know if you can even see this bird is in the top of the frame, maybe not, but I will tilt I will move out of the way at some point, I will tilt it up and I will try and show you the best I can. But I have some stuff, again, can't see, in a cabinet here that is very makeshift. It needs to be moved into the living room, it needs lights on it. It's actually my really old Hoyer cabinet from the shop, if you might remember it. It's been repurposed. I've got some goodies in there to show you. What else do I have? Obviously there is all this shit you see here. There's some stuff there. What, baby? Hang on, should I bring him up? Whoa, where's the matter? What's the matter? This is Teddy. Look how big and beautiful he is. Mwah. What are you doing? What are you doing? He does this thing, right? If I get his belly, then he, he rolls over, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, good boy. He likes to put his foot on you. I don't know why. Anyway, what was I even saying? Yeah, so I've got some stuff. I'll do my best to show you. I've got goodies. Some things I can hold up, some things I can't. Some things you might remember. Some things are new. They are new. Some things are acclimating a little bit. Uh, some things have just thrived, really. Um, and I will let you know what they are. Sorry, I need to tilt this because you need to see this cat. Look at this cat. Look at this cat. Can you see this cat? <laughs> Look at this cat. Teddy. Teddy. God damn it. Oh, let me put the bag up. I will actually tilt it up while I'm here. Look, you see some stuff up there? That spirit is as gouges. And if you look at the, was it far left? My Mikens is there as well. Sorry, far right, the screen is flipped. Love that. Teddy Don, I think you need to move at some point, you know? I don't know if that's, oh God, guys, where was it? Where was it? Let's have a look. Uh, that's kind of it, wasn't it? Right, I know we're framed far out. I now have a cat here. Hi, BB. So I'm very distracted. I'll cut this bit out. Hi, BB. Give me a kiss. Mm. Oh, you hate me. It's not just cat ownership, you just sort of pester them till they hate you and then they leave, which he did the other day, very sad. Uh, he's back. Oh, you probably can't tell, but that's spinning now. Right, so if you signed up for chaos, this is it today, by the way. I don't even know what time this is. <sighs> it's nine o'clock at night, it's nine o'clock at night. I'm supposed to edit tonight, that's not gonna happen. So. What you see before you, I will do my best to take a tour while I'm in here. I appreciate guys, this is very difficult. I get it, I will pick some things up, but you might see here, this is my Thor Matter film African Fantasy that went to my parents. I had that years ago. It went to my parents, thanks Teddy, thanks. At least you're doing it away from the camera. It went to my parents years ago, this <laughs> light, oh my God. And they basically didn't want it anymore and gave it back, but they grew it really big for me. So it's actually huge, like look at this. Look at this, this is very, very good. It's actually really huge. We have some anthurium here, we have the spiritus up here, we have a uh, mykins over here. I have my big crystal, which I will show you, it's not doing very well. It's not doing very well, I think I've upset him. Uh, my, what do you call it, Cebu Blue doing unbelievably. I have actually a fern that's supposed to go back to the shop, it was my parents, they didn't want it anymore. They had a blue oil fern and they've not done very well with it and they gave it back. So I have that. And then I have some really cool stuff in a cabinet. Now. I don't know what to show you today. I might just do the cabinet stuff and then we'll come back when it's light and do all of this because obviously I can't just start getting up and getting things off the shelf. So maybe we can do that. I can do it in some extras or something like that because 
holy shit, just disco time. Um, are you gonna move? You're not gonna move, are you? Oh, baby, honestly. Right, let's do, I wanna do something really quickly. Don't really like picking this up, but I need to, I need to express my gratitude for this plant. So very, very quickly, this is the tie that I repotted. Teddy, I swear if you bite it, darling, I swear to God. I just wanna let you know, it is a benefit of my feed. I say this all the time, but you guys watch me repot this because this is the one, if you didn't know, with the moss pole on the back of it. It's pushing out a new leaf despite being repotted straight away. I just wanted to highlight that that is something my feed is very, very good for. And obviously this plant is doing very, very well. I'm hoping this leaf isn't going to be smaller. It might be a tad smaller because it has had root disturbance. And obviously my feed isn't, you know, it doesn't work miracles, but it, it does help. So I'll let you know how big that gets. And maybe by the time I've done other videos, it'll be, you know, bigger and better. But he's looking very, very nice. So I just wanted to show you that super quick. So I'm going to put him back down. Hopefully I will not be... Can you stop flashing? Oh my God. Hopefully I will not be ruining anything in the background. Um, this, you may remember this. I potted this up. I don't think I did this on camera though. I did this one off camera. This is my, oh my God, the light. This is my philodendron. Jose Bono by Tenu or Sharoni Eye. I can never remember which one it is. I still sell a couple of these in the shop. I've got very little left and I won't be buying any more. But I still have a couple of these. I don't really see them, but I love this. And I'm very sad because I repotted it. It looked literally delicious. And I think I was on the way out and I went to tip it to show Ben how beautifully dense it was. And I tipped it over and I snapped literally a really major leaf on it. I can't remember which one it was. Is it gone or did I cut it? I think I've cut it fully off. It's grown some since, albeit a bit smaller, um, but it's kind of on the mend. And it does look very nice. So if I could just put it there. Teddy, I would love it if you moved, babe. I'd love it if you moved. That is him. I do apologize for this lighting, guys. It is gross, I know it is. He at the minute is on an Ikea uh, plant stand and he lives there for now. I have, you probably can't see it, I don't know. There's a Gloriosum that I just, I brought for shits and giggles really. It's just a regular Gloriosum. I think it's even regular form. I don't know why I did that. I actually don't know why I did that, but I have that there. Um, I have, again, I don't think you can see it, probably not because the cat is there, the cat is there. I have the white monster that I repotted. I'm not gonna pick it up. Nothing's happened on him really. He straightened up a little bit from when I repotted him. Um, oh, I'll show you something that you will want to see. I'll see if I can zoom you in because this cat is, he's just, that's him in it really. See if I can just sort of do that. <laughs> Teddy. Uh, right, what was I gonna show you? Pause for one moment. I'd like to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you're looking to create and manage your own website online, then Squarespace might be exactly what you're looking for. Squarespace has a really great set of tools to help you with selling on your website and even a few different payment options. It's super easy to set up PayPal, Square for credit cards, and even Stripe, which allows all major credit cards, Apple Pay, and in some countries, even Afterpay and Clearpay, which allows your customers to spread out the payments for your products without affecting your sales. Awesome. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a webshop like mine, head to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Allen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and back to it. This bad boy. Now he looks gnarly as hell, that's, that's fine, that's fine. So does he look familiar to you? He should, you know, he should. Notice this, notice this. This is something that I thought I killed. I honestly thought I killed. I brought it down from the studio upstairs in the unit in the shop and he was so severely underwater, I thought I killed him. Took a head cutting of it with a bit of chunk, left it for ages. It grew in a corner of the shop because it was so chunky and it had no leaves on it or anything. I didn't know what it was. Luckily it got labeled. It put out these in my complete absence. That's why they've grown like, you can tell they've grown like over pots and stuff. I just didn't know it was there. And you can still see it's the wide lobe. But now I brought him here, okay. I want you to know this because I find this a, a bit of a brag. A bit of a brag. I brought it over here and I did put it in my Ikea cabinet. If you want to know what the cabinet is, I think it's a M Mills, Mills bro, Mills bro, something like that. Um, thinking, oh shit, it's a queen. Better put it in the cabinet, right? Better just get it in there. So I did, but then it got so big and long, I took it out of the cabinet while it was still growing and hardening off. And I honestly thought, oh shit, I probably killed it. Oh, not killed it, but I probably torched the leaf, right? No boy, look at it. Can you see this? Look how pretty it is. Now apologies if it focuses on moi and not the plant, but look how great he is. Again, I, I know this looks gnarly, but I'm leaving it for the sake of it growing well. But how good is that? How good is that? 
I'm very proud of him. So that is my, I think I used to call him Handlebar Boy. He's a very nice boy. So I keep him there for now. Now I can't pick him up. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I would be really sad if you couldn't. I can't pick him up, but I will another day. This is the red crystal. I will pick this guy up to show you though. I'm very happy about him. He's borderline Mr. Watering and he's tinged at the very bottom and I'm so annoyed because he was perfect. This is my Anthurium Bessii Ath. Um, and I, I've ranted about this, guys. I've ranted about this on Instagram. I put a picture up because I actually could not believe this shit. But I've struggled to grow this in the shop, obviously before my feed was out, for years, right? I know a lot of people do, it's just shit. A lot of people say that they get um, a leaf on these and when the new one comes in, the old one dies or whatever. Um, not today, baby, not today. This is the leaf that it came to me with. So it's had a full repot, okay? It came to me with this leaf. I fed it a bit. And it gave me this leaf from this leaf. Do you see? Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see it? Do you see it? That's insane. That's massive. And it's also given me a new one now, look. Ta da So I'm going to put him back because he's very delicate. Although he's given me a leaf and a flower at the same time. Shit happens. I mean, I don't personally mind it too much when Anthurium flower. I mean, obviously, whether I use the pollen or not is a completely different situation. But I like him like that. He's a tiny bit lighter on his tips, which pisses me off a little bit, I won't lie. But it is what it is. Spiritus, can you see him? No, you can see some tails of him. I'll get him down for you another day. I mean, really, I wasn't going to touch what's behind me. I was going to show you what's in the cabinet, so that's fair enough. I would put main lights on in here, by the way, guys, but they, I think they flicker on camera, so I'm not doing that. I know you probably think, oh my god, does she just only have disco lights in the house? The answer is no. I just, I'm pretty sure it flickers, so I don't want to do that. So, I want to show you some stuff in the cabinet. I want to show you some cabinet. Are we still good? We are still good. Sorry, I'm just expecting everything to go wrong. I'm going to have to open and shut this cabinet every time. Every time. So, first thing I brought, a little one. I know I've got a big one at the unit. I brought a little one. This is Forgetti Eye Dark Form. I brought it here with just this leaf. Um, honestly, don't know how many months ago. Two months ago, two and a half months ago, three months ago. Could be three, realistically, could be three months ago. And um, I brought him here with this leaf. He's then given me this leaf. Hopefully he looks nice and dark on camera because he is. And then he's given me this leaf. Very, very nice. Not a lot to say about him, other than he's a great plant if you haven't seen them before, look. Oof. Or right, that's quite sexy, actually. Look at this cat. I don't think he's gonna move. I think he's with us now. If his brother would come in, that would be great, but I don't think he will, guys. Um, this, I am I went through a period where I was really satisfied with this and I was having a great time, guys. I was having such a great time. But now it's, one, it, it's singed a bit and I actually think it's heat. I don't think it's light because it's at a cabinet at the very back. Some of this, that's a little bit mushy, so it could be maybe a bit too humid in there. Maybe, it's a few things anyway. But it has certainly gone full white, so that's not great. But before that, it was doing really well. I'm quite sad about this. It will, you know, it'll come good, it'll be fine. Um, but it's not looking great. There is, I should probably say there's two growth points in here. So these three bits of leaves here are from one side of the plant and this is on the other side. Sorry, I can't tip it up anymore. Everything's going to fall out. You know the tea, you know the tea. Um, but this is a different uh, growth point and this one's doing fine. So I'll probably just lob all that off put it in some decorative substrate, for example, and just call it a day. Um, I will probably trim this as well. Again, you know me, guys, I don't like to trim things. I didn't even say what this plant was. My apologies. This is Raphnophora tetrasperma variegata, and that is what he looks like. Again, sorry if it doesn't focus on the plant. It's really hard to tip up that one. So I'm not the proudest of that one, guys, but I want to let you know that, hey, it happens to all of us, okay? Don't go thinking that I'd be out here growing great shit. It's like the same thing with anything on social media. You only show the shit that's good. So I'm showing you all of the shit. This, for example, is not shit. This is this is one of my girlfriend's favorite plants, actually. This is my wonderful variegated Ansonii. And you know what shit? Do you know what shit? This is in exactly the same conditions as the Raphidophora. Uh, it arguably has less variegation in some places. But notice how this looks absolutely perfect. It looks Instagrammable, chic. She's ready, she's thriving, also two growth points. Having a great time, look at this. Having a great time, guys. None of the problems, none of the mush, none of the crisp. Explain it? I can't, I really can't. But I am very happy with this, and it was brought as literally like a, what had it been brought as? Probably like a two to three leaf situation. Sorry, is this not focusing on me anymore? What is it even doing? There we go, sorry, it's probably the lighting. Um, this was bought, bought? brought over as a much smaller situation than what it is, and it's obviously been fed with my feed, blah, 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 and it's done really well. But it, it's interesting to me that it hasn't gone mushy, really odd. So I'll put that back. What else do we have in this cabin art? 
Um, oh, this one's quite interesting and he has to grow down the front of this cabinet because if you have one of these cabinets, you will know um, that it has a bit of a gap in the front. Sorry, if I keep looking in the viewfinder, I'm trying to, there we go. I'm trying to put my head into a little box that you can't see, which is a little overlay that focuses on my face. And I keep seeing it over here, for whatever reason, it's finding a face. And I keep having to like put my head into it so it finds my head. Anyway, so, I've made this grow down the front of the cabinet because there is a little bit of a gap because every time a new leaf came out back in the day, it would do this, right? Not sexy. Again, I'm not mentioning the name of the plant. Very sorry. This is Anthurium pallidiflorum super narrow. And this leaf is looking less super narrow, which is really weird because they normally grow like this. Um, so I've not had it here that long. And when I got it here, first leaf it gave me was this one, but then it's immediately given me this one. Again, fed with nerve system, looking quite sexy. That's just not focusing on my face. It's just not focusing on my face. There it is. <laughs> I wish you could see the overlay that I could see. So that's him looking really cute, looking really cute. We'll put him back and I'm gonna have to, again, Oh, bloody hell. I have to drape him down the front. Oh, do I have to put this down? Hang on, guys. I've got a situation. Right, he can go down the front. Um, what else? I have some boring stuff down at the bottom. I have a mint that I'm not going to touch. Again, I'll leave it for another time. I will show you this. This is very boring. And like most things, I haven't got around to trimming it. But this is basically... Please, oh no, find my face and then find that. This is basically a accumulation of variegated micans. And if you look, sometimes you will see some variegated stuff. Oh my God, this does not want to find my face today. So obviously the light's confusing it and the plants. It's a combination of variegated micans, but it does need managed and cut back. But that's very boring, so I'll not show you that. Uh, what else? I don't want to show you too much and then you not see it properly because of the light and then we don't ever see it because then I can't show you it again immediately after. Does that make sense? Um, oh, here's two things. First of which was gifted to me, the second of which I bought. So this one, oh my God, there we go. The first one, I'm gonna have to lean in, sorry about the light. First one was gifted to me, what was it? Monstera to, to winter? No baby, that's not for you. Um, it looks like a kind of a bleaker, but I got him when he was much smaller and he's already grown really big and nice, so that's nice. You having a nice time, Teddy? You having a nice time? Oh, bless him. This, I can't, oh, can I get in front of the camera and show you? Two seconds. Ignore the cat, oh my God. Can you see this? Maybe, maybe you can. But this is essentially, oh my God, this is chaos. Listen, I'm gonna show you this properly another time, so remind me, but this is a variegated Anthurium clarinervium and it's beautiful, but I'm not willing to put it near this cat's face. I'm not willing to put it near this cat's face. It's not gonna happen. What else do we have? Apologies guys, this, this is complete chaos, this video, I totally get that. Another gift I got, I got two other gifts. Oh, this one's finally dying off, lovely. This one here, this little anthurium is... What was it? It was Michelle. What was it? Why can't I see it? Why can't I see it? Oh my God, where's the label? I've put it in another pot. Hang on. Oh, it's on the lid of something else. It was a hybrid. Was it Doc Block? Michelle or by Michelle? I can't remember now. It's an anthurium hybrid though. Again, I'll show you this again. Teddy, no baby. Come over here. Come over here. Come on, over there. Um, I got, <laughs> Jesus. I got this a while ago and it's grown quite nicely for me. Hopefully that focuses that. I don't know if it will. Yes, Teddy, you stay there. Um, this, again, pathetic, need better light. This is a forgetty eye red spider. Very lucky to have it. It's tiny though. I got given kind of like a one leaf, um, kind of like a book cutting. It, it almost looks like a mid cutting and it's grown for me. It's grown quite small for now. Probably can't see oh, what's in there. It's very, very small. I should not show you any more small plants guys because I clearly can't do it on camera. So we will do this again, I promise. And we will, I will show you it better basically because I kind of can't. What else do I have? Oh, I might show you this though because this is really nice. This is so nice. Let me get it off the wall because she is really thriving. They all need a water actually. They feel very light. This beautiful, beautiful thing. Teddy, for God's sakes. This is my wonderful Epipremnum Cebu Blue and it's looking really nice. Can you see how beautiful this is? It's a very beautiful plant. It's done so well. Now I have to tell you, this is made from loads of cuttings from the shop. I had Cebu Blue, oh, is it like 2020 or something? Um, or 2021, when they were still a little bit hard to get. I went and got a ton of them. I think they went past their sell-by kind of thing. And Teddy, no. Oh, he's gonna step all over my product. And I basically compiled them all into one big one. And before I brought him here, he's a bit underwater. So I actually gave him a huge haircut. I think I took it to about here. And since I've had him, he's done all of this. So I'm pretty happy about that. It Teddy, 
Oh my God. Oh, don't film with cats. Don't film with cats. Teddy. Hang on, guys. Teddy. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Oh, his brother's come. Let me see if I can pick up his brother. Sorry, guys. Absolute chaos, I know. Come on, you want to see everybody? Because you're much nicer. You want to come up? You want to come up? Oh, he doesn't mind being picked up as much. This is Billy. Oh, he doesn't want to be picked up. He's a bit nervous. It's all the lights. This is Billy, his brother. He is bigger and lighter and much smarter. Anyway, uh, what was I even saying? So, he did really, really well. Uh, oh, my God. These cats. These cats. They can't do anything. Bibby. Bibby. <laughs> oh. You know, I can't do anything. Can you get your bottom out of the camera? That's so rude. Um, listen, <laughs> well, how long have we been running for? I'm gonna have to stop this video. I'm gonna have to stop this video. This is not going well. It's pure chaos, but it's the only time this week I have to upload anything. And are you going to, are you going to leave? At least get your bum out of my face. It's the only time this week I, know, I, I can't speak. It's the only time this week I can actually upload anything. So we're gonna have to leave it at that, guys. I know this was possibly, I'm gonna take this as the most chaotic video I've ever done. And it's, it feels unfinished. If you feel dissatisfied watching this, fair, fair enough. This is not to be done with disco lighting. It's not to be done with cats. There's gonna be a cat about to jump onto some product real soon and make more noise. Love that for me, love that for me. It's just not the right time. So I'm gonna do it again. Teddy, oh. <sighs> I'm gonna do it again really soon. Minus cats. I will bring them in at the end or something if they want to be in. This is chaos, guys. If you've got cats, by the way, and you've got like a YouTube channel or whatever, Teddy, Teddy, <laughs> hey, down. If you've got cats and you film content for YouTube, tell me how you do it. Tell me how you do it, because this this ain't working, is it really? Are you gonna sit, babe? Oh, good boy. Are you sit with that little butt off camera. Um, yeah, sorry guys, I'm just gonna cut this one short. It's chaos. Even if I put the cats out, I the way I'm filmed, I needed a table in the shot and I can't. I need to re re um set it up, but I've now got virtually zero light coming in and I don't want this to be any more disco, so I'm gonna leave it there. We're gonna redo this, okay? We're gonna come back and we're gonna redo this. Um, but here's my cat before we go. Come and we say hello to the camera. Come here, come here. Ooh. Hey, come here. I just wanted, I wanted you to see him because you only saw the other one. Oh, no, he don't want to do it. He just wants to sit there. Never mind then. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. This is ridiculous. Oh, I didn't plug my merch. Please buy the merch. Please buy the merch. Buy it for the chaos. Buy it for the chaos. It's got cat hair on it now. Uh, it was perfect, but now it's not. Uh, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to, you know, sometimes you just got to cut your losses. And I think for the first time on this channel, I'm cutting my losses. Have you seen? <laughs> oh, my God. Cat. Cat, this is so funny. Right, guys, I'm gonna go. Honestly, I'm sorry, but just take the chaos. I can't wait to see all the reposts of this on Instagram. Anyway, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. It's, it's, I haven't had lunch yet, and it's 20 past nine at night. I give up. Hey, BB, you come here. I will see you in the next one, guys. Links to everything down below. See you soon. Ah, <laughs> oh, bye.